Eulendorf is an affluent suburb located in southwest Berlin. It's also home to a piece of the city's industrial heritage. Stefan Kahlfeld purchased it in 2007 and had it converted into a unique duplex. Herzlich willkommen im Gleichrichterwerk. The red brick facade today hardly looks like a classical industrial building from yesteryear. Remarkable, though, are the cornices, bow front, and stair tower. The electrical substation designed by architect Hans Heinrich Müller was built in 1928. It was shut down in 1960. I've always been keen on industrial buildings that can be custom converted, and then I was shown this one. It's a fully automatic facility that was manned only by machines. A steel skeleton construction. The advantage here was that you could rip everything out because there were no supporting walls, so you could realize your design dream. That dream didn't come cheaply, costing Stefan Kahlfeld more than a million euros. The interior was done by his brother's architectural firm. The converter facility was itself transformed into a huge hall with a lot of light, but no doors. The appeal lies in the huge windows that let in a lot of light, plus the enormous height of the place up to 5 meters 80. And you don't have to have a room structure here. It's all open and a really quite different way of living. I find it very liberating. The family lives in 150 square meters of space, enough for Stefan Kahlfeld to indulge his passion. Instead of panels, switches, and transformers, modern art now adorns the walls, covering the decades from the 1920s right up to contemporary works. There's no concept. They're all works collected over the years, stored in the cellar, and brought back out. There's a huge variety of art. And this art hasn't been acquired systematically. The result is random, comprising things that my family and I like. The kitchen is independent of the main living area and enclosed in a glass box. It has doors on all sides and has become the central meeting point for the family. And it also accommodates Stefan's favorite sculpture. This is made from a single piece of oak, which was cut with a chainsaw. Those rods were then sawed from top to bottom, with nothing broken off. Then it was given a black finish. Son Julius also profits from the imagination and ideas of his parents. His sleeping quarters are elevated almost six meters, making them nice and private. One of the few clues as to the building's former life is the narrow stairwell that provides access to the upper floor. This is the bedroom. And here we came across another collector's item from the 1950s, a beautiful ceiling lamp. Four of the bulbs have gone out, but I'm going to replace them. The Kahlfeld family dream home took three years to realize, and it's one they will never want to move out of. <laughs>